Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Today I'm recording a tutorial for our private Facebook group. You can join it at facebook.com slash groups slash musicradiocreative. So hi to Tom, Wayne and Rockabilly, who've all asked about the razor blade and time selection tools in Adobe Audition and how to best use them. Well, let's head over to my screen right now and take a look at Adobe Audition where I've got a little bit of footage from the UK storm that happened last night. It was quite aggressive. So here's a little bit of win let's play it and I'm going to use this as an example to play with in the multi-track and show you how to use all of these tools that light up when you go into the multi-track. So what do I usually use? Well, I usually use this tool right here. It's the time selection tool. You can get to it by hitting T on your keyboard. And if you've ever used a word processor, it's exactly the same little eye bar that you get to just select things and move around on the screen. And um, well, you can pretty much do anything by selecting this tool. But I do want to show you how each tool works. So let's look at the far left, the move tool. No shortcut for this one, but you can click it like so. And then you can simply drag any wave you've got in the multi-track around by left clicking your mouse and moving it to any track or at any time period on the multi-track like so. Now, if you've got the time selection tool selected by hitting T, you can also achieve the same effect by right clicking and moving your wave around. See how the tool immediately turns back to the move tool and you can do the same thing without needing to make that switch. So let's move that back and show you the next tool, which is the razor selected clips tool or shortcut key R. Now, when you hit that and enable this, you can go anywhere in your waveform and click click, 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 click. Make lots of quick cuts throughout your whole wave. Now, if I was to go back to the move tool, I could then go and move those waves around to wherever I should choose on the waveform and make some edits like so. Now, the razor tool is good, but you know what? I'll tell you a secret. I never ever use the razor tool. Why? I stay in the time selection tool and I use the shortcut Command K on my Mac or it would be Control K on your PC and you get the same razor cutting anywhere you like on the waveform. So there you go. That's pretty much every tool. Let's delete that and drag in that UK Storm footage again. I'll show you one last tool though and it's this one here, the slip tool. Shortcut key is Y. Now at first glance you'll notice it makes this kind of double-edged arrow over your waveform, yeah? And when you go off it, it's kind of crossed out. Now you might try as you might, you might try moving it around, doing strange things with it and say, well, absolutely nothing is happening with this tool. It's useless. <laughs> well, it's not actually. There is one thing you can do with it, but I'll tell you another secret. Again, I rarely ever use this tool. Say if I clip my waveform here at the start, you see, you get those lovely clips and you can clip it in, trim it in like so, and just have part of your full waveform. Now this is where the slip tool that I, like I say, I rarely use comes into its own because you can now hover over that wave that you've trimmed and you can slip the audio along to the front or to the back. Now, there may be a reason you'd want to do this when you're editing away and that's where you'd hit Y on your keyboard and go into the slip tool. Um, so there you go, a brief overview. What have you learned in this video? I've told you about the time selection tool that I use the most, the move tool, the razor tool and the slip tool. I hope you found this video handy. Remember to subscribe for more tips.